So one of the things you may need to do with your Mac is take a screenshot. A capture of exactly what you see on your screen. There's a whole bunch of different ways to do this that are built into the Mac. So let's take a complete look at them. What you want to do is you want to go to System Preferences. And in System Preferences you want to go to Keyboard. Which doesn't quite make sense. You think you're looking for a screen grab so why would you go to Keyboard. Well Keyboard is where the keyboard shortcuts are kept. And under Keyboard Shortcuts there is a category for screenshots. And you want to go here because there are the default screen grab keys. But it's easy to change these. And a lot of people have changed them over the years. It seems like every time I advise somebody to take a screenshot using this keyboard command they say it doesn't work and sure enough somehow it got changed. Maybe some old app changed it at one point or maybe they set it to something different so it didn't conflict with something at some point. So you want to look at these to make sure that you know the keyboard shortcuts for your Mac. Now these are the default ones. And there's two sets of them. The first set uses the 3 key. And you can use Shift Command 3 to save the picture of the screen as a file. And it's going to save these to the desktop. So let me try this. And notice I've got nothing on my desktop. I'm going to do Shift Command 3 and I'm going to get three files. Why three? Because I actually have three screens. I've got this main one and I've got two side screens for my Mac. So it takes a picture of each one of those. Let's get rid of those. So you'll just usually get one there. That's the easy way. Now you can also save to the clipboard holding the Control key down. So Control Shift Command 3. This is handy if what you really want to do is paste the screenshot into something. Paste it into an email. Paste it into a document you're working on. A pages document. An image document. Something. Uh, it just puts it in the clipboard. doesn't create a new file. And then you can Command V paste into something uh, with the contents of that screen grab. Now there are two other modes here. And these both use the 4 key. And with 4 you're going to actually save a selected area. So I'm going to hit Shift Command 4 and you can see now I've got crosshairs. So I can select something. Let's say I want to select this area here. I'm going to click and drag. Select the area. and it's, You can see it even shows me the pixel size for what I'm selecting. And then I get a screenshot that includes just that. So I can select it. I'll hit the space bar to look at it in Spotlight. And you can see I have an image that's just that piece of the screen. So that's really handy. And like with the full screen grabs I can use the Control key there, Control Shift Command 4 to save this to the clipboard so that I can paste it into something rather than having a file automatically created. But there's actually some more here. If you use either of these two with the 4 you can capture an exact window. So say I want to capture this window here, that System Preferences window. I'll do Shift Command 4 and you can see I can grab a section. But instead of grabbing a section I'm going to hit the space bar. And that's going to change the cursor to a little camera. Now whatever window I'm over, could be the desktop, could be a regular window, it's going to kind of shade it in. And I click and it automatically captures that whole window. So if you want to capture a window you don't have to precisely grab from edge to edge. You can simply use the space bar and now you get this nice screen grab that includes the shadow. Uh, for the entire window and nothing underneath it, uh, nothing overlapping it, just purely that window. It's a very handy way to capture something uh, when you want precisely that. But there are more default ways to do it. There's an app you've got on your Mac called the Grab. I'm going to use Spotlight, Command, Space, and Search for Grab. And I'm going to run the app. Now all I can see now from the app, there's no interface here. It's just these menu items. I can go to Capture and it looks like a similar set of selections. I can say I want to capture a selection. I'll use that. And you can see it gives me instructions. Take a, a, a screenshot of part of the screen. Drag over that part. And then I can click and drag. And you see I get a red outline. And it captures that. Now what Grab does is it opens it in this little window here. So it's not saving it as a file. Now from this point I can hit Save and save it out. And I can even choose File Formats. So a really handy way to preview what you're taking a screenshot of before you actually save it or use it elsewhere. So I can go and say I want a window as well. And that will allow me to choose the window. I can click on the window and I get a screenshot of the window. Another mode is for the entire screen. 
And there's also time screen. So what's time screen good for? Well suppose I wanted to get a picture, say in System Preferences, of this View menu here. But how do I do that? Because if I'm going to start using the keyboard shortcuts it's going to close this menu here. So instead I will run Grab and I will issue a timed screen countdown. I'll start the timer and now I will bring the View menu up and you can see as soon as that clock icon runs down it's going to get a screenshot. And that screenshot here is going to include the menu. So it's handy for things like that. There are even more ways to do it. For instance you can use Preview. In the Preview app instead of opening a document you can go to File, Take a Screenshot and you can choose From Selection, From Window, or Entire Screen. Entire Screen actually does a countdown but it won't capture menu items because it waits for you to release the mouse so it's kind of odd. But you can do say From Selection, Select an Area and then it opens it up in Preview. So another way for you to check the images before you do anything with them like say save them. And also you can use QuickTime Player to do a video grab. So run QuickTime Player, go New Screen Recording and it will actually record the screen with the microphone as well. So you get to choose the microphone and some options. So you can do a video capture of your screen as well as a still image using the built-in tools that come with your Mac.